everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY refraction clothes into the new simply but pretty way. One thing about me that I'm crazy about jumpsuit. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make this overall jumpsuit from scratch. Here my fabric is linen with yellow color. First step, I'm drawing the front body of the overall red. The way I did here is drawing two rectangles with the size 34cm width and 130cm length. The width of the rectangle is a quarter of your hip size plus 10cm or smaller if you want a tight jumpsuit. The length of the rectangle is the length from your bust to your ankle. After having the rectangles, I'm making the cross curve of the jumpsuit. From one side of the width of the rectangle, I go to inside 8cm and mark there. Then from the length of the rectangle next to it, I mark at 60cm which is the length of my bust to over my hip. Then I draw an odd line to connect two marks together. From another side of the width, I go to inside 14cm and mark there. Then I connect to the other mark that is 25cm from the length next to it. So the rest of the width will be 12cm. Move to the end of the front body, where will be the bottom of the jumpsuit. I go to inside 12cm and mark there. Then I connect that mark to the end of the curve line. To make the back body of the jumpsuit, I do pretty much the same thing I did to the front. But the width of the rectangle will be 36cm with a 2cm bigger than the front. The length of the rectangle is the same with a 130cm. For the cross curve of the back body, I go to inside a bit longer than the front body with a 10cm. Then I draw an odd line to connect to the mark at 60cm from one side of the lens. From another end of the width, I go to inside 18cm and mark there. Then I connect that mark to another mark at 25cm from the length next to it. Move to the bottom of the jumpsuit. I go to inside 14cm from one end of the width and connect it to the end of the curve line. After cutting, I will have the back body of the jumpsuit. Don't forget overlocking to protect the fabric. Next step is connecting two pieces of the front body together by the beams, then sewing. And doing the same for the back body. After 
the sewing at two sides of the front body. I double fold the fabric and use the pins to hold it before sewing. Then, I double fold the top of the front body by folding 1cm to inside for the first folding and 2cm to inside for the second folding, then sewing. Remember to do the same for the back body. Now I'm making the pockets for the front body. For the big pocket at the top of the front, I'm drawing a square with 24cm width. After cutting and overlocking, I'm double fold one side of the square just like what I did to the top of the front. That is folding 1cm to inside for the first folding and 2cm to inside for the second folding, then sewing. I use the iron to make the folding for the bucket before installing it to the front body. The position of the big pocket will be 7cm down from the top and 11cm away from the center of the front body. I use the pins to fit the pockets to the front body to make it easier for sewing. Now, I'm making two other small pockets for the jumpsuit. I'm drawing two rectangles with 17cm width and 22cm high. Then I double fold one side of the rectangle like what I did to the big pockets before.
and using the iron to make the folding before installing the bucket to the jumpsuit. The position for two small pockets are 12 cm down from the end of the big pockets and 6 cm from two sides of the front body. Use the bins to fix the pockets to the front body and sewing. Next step is connecting the front and the back body together at two sides and two legs. After sewing, I'm moving to the end of the jumpsuit and folding the fabric inside to finish the bottom. Now it's the time to fix the belly of the jumpsuit. Dry the jumpsuit on and mark where it's fixed to your belly but you also feel comfortable with it. Next step is making the fabric hole for the shoulder strap. I'm drawing two rectangles with 6 cm width and about 20 cm length. Sewing two sides of the length together, then upside it before ironing. After that, I fix them into two sides of the front body of the jumpsuit, then sew in. Last step is making the shoulder strap of the jumpsuit. I'm drawing two rectangles with 10 cm width and 70 cm length.
doing the same to the fabric hole that I just did, sewing two sides of the fabric and ironing after upside them. After that, fixing them into the back body of the jumpsuit and we finish the DIY. Let's check out the result. Isn't it just too cute? I really love wearing jumpsuit. It's not only cute but also very comfortable to wear. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Give me your thinking about it so I can learn more from you to make my video better and better. Please like and share if you like it and subscribe to my channel to see my other jumpsuit video. See ya!